Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a very requested video that I've been getting many comments, many DMs asking for me to film my skincare routine. If you guys didn't already know, I upload every single week, every single week. Look out for a video every single week. Hey, hey. Hey, let's get started. So as you guys know, I'm very open to new video ideas. If you guys wanna see something, go ahead and comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to film a video for you guys. And skincare is one subject that I've been getting over and over and over again. And I don't know why I haven't filmed it earlier, but now now's the time. So first thing you wanna do is change into a comfy tee, pajamas, tie your hair up, girlfriend. It's either the end of the night time to take your makeup off cleanse your face so i did a little messy bun right now i don't have any makeup on but if i did i would use my neutrogena makeup wipes to take it off and it usually takes me two wipes to take everything off but since we are no makeup gang today, we don't need that. Now the products I'm gonna talk about are not sponsored. I really genuinely love them and three out of the four products are the same company. And I actually got introduced to them after I got my nose job. Funny story. So when I went to take my cast off, for those of you who don't know, I have had a nose job. I'll go ahead and link my story time down below all about rhinoplasty. After I got my cast taken off, you could already tell that a girl needed a facial. But you can't get a facial for I think like at least six months post-op so my surgeon gave me like a little goodie bag of a face cleanser a toner a moisturizer or whatever and she said use these so you could get rid of the blackheads that developed on your nose after this one week of having a cast suffocated on your face so she gave me a goodie bag and I tried out these products and I literally fell in love and I've been using them since and it's been three years so yeah I just really like these products and I hope you guys like them if you try them out let your girl know down below so the first thing I use is by the company Alouette it's called Aloe Pure Skin Care Restorative Enzyme Peel and it's a exfoliating gel on the back it tells you how to apply and one thing I really pay attention to is ingredients and these three products that I'm going to talk about have really like natural ingredients so it's nothing super chemical based for example this has like aloe cucumber grapefruit shea butter just very you know non chemically ingredients like you read it and you don't know what the hell you're reading that type of thing so it looks like this i'm gonna go ahead and focus so you guys can see that gel so i take the tiniest amount i'll go ahead and put some on my face so you guys can see you definitely don't need a lot when it comes to this product this product literally i'll show you what it does i freaking love this thing you literally spread it all over your face and it takes off all the dead skin and you could see it on your hands i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and just work it in and one thing i noticed is if you put a lot i feel like it gets too wet and then it's hard to peel off look you could already see my dead skin and just rub it oh my god and you can't use this every day i would say use this maybe two three times a week i'd say like two don't use it too much because you can't be exfoliating every single day you know if you feel it's too dry you could add more i just don't recommend adding a lot at once just rub it in like this and you literally see your skin coming off and then once you're done working your magic go ahead and rinse your face with warm water so i'll be right back we are back one thing i always get asked is how do you have such clear skin and one thing that is a fact that you can use whatever products you want but it all breaks down to your genetics if in your genetics you have a lot of acne or whatever the case may be you could use whatever products you want but it's going to be much harder for that type of person to get clear skin like me if they have it in their genetics i personally am blessed with clear skin i legit should work on skincare because i don't do it every night which i should be doing but i have naturally clear skin next up i'm going to go into the gentle foaming cleanser which is also under the aloe pure skin care this one has organic aloe vera chamomile extract camellia extract just other types of ingredients that you could actually understand and this is by alouette the same company and these aren't even that expensive i think this is like 20 bucks the toner is like 15 the most expensive is the enzyme peel which is i think 30 but it works very well so it's worth it 
So I'm gonna get about this much and I'm just gonna apply it all over my skin. I'm gonna blend this into my skin, work it, work it. It smells so good. It smells so natural, that's what I love. And it gives like a very cool pearly effect on your skin. And I'm gonna leave it on like this for about a minute. Let it absorb into my skin. And then I'm gonna rinse it off and be right back. All right, dry up your skin. We are looking fresh. Next up, I'm gonna pick up their Skin Refining Toner, also under Aloe Pure Skin Care. This has organic aloe vera, green tea extract, and willow bark extract. I'm gonna grab a little cotton pad and just put a couple of drops on the back. And then I'm gonna work it into my skin. Every single product has like a different scent to it. This one, you could definitely smell the bark. My skin usually turns a little red after I use the toner or even the enzyme peel, but that's normal for me because whenever I put on primer, my skin turns a little bit red. But the ironic thing is my skin isn't even sensitive like at all. So you could have wiped your makeup down, used a cleanser, but you're gonna see on the back of this pad that girl you wrong you're really wrong and mind you i haven't even put on makeup today so imagine if i did how it would look look at that you thought your skin was clean think again all right after the toner you don't have to think about going and washing your face or anything we're done washing our face so after you do the toner you're gonna feel it get a little bit tight and you could feel it absorb so i'm gonna wait about two more minutes and then i'm gonna move on to the moisturizer now the moisturizer i'm gonna talk about is the absolute most expensive part of my skincare routine it's literally as much as the three items combined alouette does have a moisturizer and i used it it's great but after i used tatcha's water cream moisturizer it, it was a new world, okay? So this is, for me, the best moisturizer ever. It literally feels like water on your skin. It's so weird and it keeps it very well moisturized. I'm definitely on the drier side of skin. I'm actually like a freaking Mojavean desert up in here, okay? What? And you can tell I use a lot. This is $75, okay? It's a pretty penny but it's very well worth it, in my opinion. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit. I always use my nails. My nails are like applicators, okay? You see this applicator on the end of the cap? We don't need that if you have one of these. I actually have 10 of these, so. So I'm gonna literally dot this all around my skin, and then you're gonna blend it in. It literally feels like water, I'm not even joking so weird and it's so thin that's what i love like you don't feel like there's something on your skin it smells amazing like it smells clear does that even make sense to you and i like to bring it down my neck because it's not all about your face girl you can't forget about your neck and the first thing that shows when it comes to aging is your neck and your hands so you definitely have to protect your neck by all means and then last but not least i love to moisturize my lips my friends literally make fun of me but i love eos lip balm or chapstick or whatever you want to call it this is the raspberry flavor Oh my god, it smells so good. But I love to apply that on my lips and then that's it. Another alternative I love using, this is like my favorite lip balm ever. It's the Mario Badiscu lip balm, but the thing is, I don't know if they still make this. I heard it was discontinued, but this is literally the best thing ever. It smells so good and it really keeps your lips moisturized. Mm. Smells like coconuts, brown sugar. Oof, it smells really good. I heard these are discontinued, but I also heard they might be in Macy's. I'm not sure. I have to do a little bit more research, but if you guys want to find out a new lip balm to try out, I definitely recommend the Mario Badiscu. And then after all that, just to make my skin feel even more refreshing, I pick up my Mario Badiscu rose water. I love spritzing this on my face. It gives it a nice, refreshing feel and a great scent send oh this isn't like an absolute must for skincare but i love using it just to make it feel nice and refreshing and then when i wake up my skin is super soft 
And that's it. That is my skincare routine. Super easy, super fast. Like I said, I definitely need to work on my skincare routine. I would want to do this more than I actually do. But since you guys asked what I do, I had to show you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this little skincare nighttime, daytime routine. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.